bonus chapter. Surprise. How fun. This time it's going to be a slasher film. Let's get to Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2022. This one is a Netflix original. Directed by David Blue Garcia. Co-written by Fede Alvarez. Did not realize that. Of Evil Dead and Don't Breathe fame. Stars Sarah Yarkin. Elsie Fisher, Mark Burnham, Jacob Lattimore, Mo Dunford, that's about it. And the synopsis is, after 48 years of hiding, Leatherface returns to terrorize a group of idealistic young friends who accidentally disrupt his carefully shielded world in a remote Texas town. I didn't see this one probably for about a year after it came out. I will be doing a Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise bonus show at some point covering all the movies up until this one, because I'm doing this one now, obviously. So keep an eye out for that on Bandcamp at filmbuds.bandcamp.com. We have about 71 bonus shows up there at this point. I saw the first one a couple years ago, or back in college, and loved it. Terrified me, and I didn't see all the other ones until I watched this one. So this one sort of reignited my interest in the franchise, and I'm now seeing all of them. I don't think the movie is amazing, but I don't think it's nearly as bad as people say. Is it sort of generic? Yeah, but I found it to be very entertaining. In and out, breezy pace. The violence is very effective. The bus sequence, which that's the one most people go to, is very, very good. The sequence under the floorboards, like where she's crawling and he's putting the chainsaw through the floorboards, that's really effective effective and intense so there's some very good sequences i think the direction is pretty good overall there's nothing amazing masterpiece worthy of the movie but i really don't think it's as bad as people are making out to be i'll give it a chance in terms of modern slashers i think the recent halloween movies and the screen movies are better than this one or any of the recent texas chainsaw massacres but still watchable entertaining got some good scares some good kills some good gore and that final i won't spoil it but the final kill is a bit of a shock and definitely made me jump maybe i'm in the minority there but i didn't see that one coming i thought it was very well done and i suppose i am part of the problem in some ways i'll see any of these movies i'm addicted to all these slasher franchises now at this point scream Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween. Like, I will watch any of them now because I've seen all of them at this point. So, I would give it a watch. Give it a chance. Maybe you'll hate it, but I really don't think it's too bad of a movie. was a bit surprising, I guess, in how much I was invested in it, or at least entertained by it. Won't ever be a best of the year or best of the franchise, but an alright slasher movie Oh, and also one scene that's really good is the van sequence out in the fields. That's a really, really well done scene. And then also the part where she's hiding in the closet, I believe, and under the bed, one or the other in Leatherface's house. So there's some good moments of suspense to me, at least. Maybe I'm crazy there. Maybe I was bringing way too much investment than others will. But I was pretty engaged with the movie throughout the whole thing so that is a three out of five all right well that is about it as always at film buds on social media me and my wife and co-host l on letterboxd rate review subscribe all that good stuff check out our bonus show page at filmbuds.bandcamp.com thank you to all those who have been listening in recently you can follow us on youtube as well if you would prefer to listen to episodes there too, and we are in the process of trying to get some video podcasts in there as well. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions, send them our way. We want to hear from you. Make sure you give us a rating. Make sure you give us a review. Uh, and please, please subscribe. And we hope you'll stick around because we love having you. So hope you enjoyed it even half as much as I did. And see you next time.